Hey, it's Rachel from All Things Cardio Palm. I just wanted to give a brief intro before bringing in our expert demo representative from Jane. Jane is an online platform for health and wellness practitioners that makes it simple to book, chart, schedule, bill, and get paid. I am a Jane ambassador. Uh, I started using Jane when I started my mobile clinic. Um, I thought it was such a great platform. I've used multiple EMRs over the course of my 14-year career. And not only did I enjoy the platform, but I really enjoyed the company. So Jane is now a sponsor to Talking All Things Cardio Palm podcast. And I wanted to bring them on to show a little behind the scenes of what Jane looks like. So if you're interested in Jane, if you're just starting out in clinic and looking for an EMR, or if you're looking to make a switch, you can take a peek learn a little bit. And if you're interested in Jane, you can sign up at uh, jane.app backslash start and use code cardiopalm one mo at the time of sign up to save on one month free. All right, so let's jump in. So welcome to the demo clinic. So I like to always start off here because this is our clinic sites. They're a partner of ours. And I like to start off at a website because you're probably going to have one and the transition for the uh, client is an important part of that process. So if we go ahead and click appointments, you're going to see we are now in the Jane booking site. And it's very Janeified at the moment. You've got the Jane logo, Jane colors. But of course, all of that branding is going to be able to be changed for you. Um, and then to confirm, you're going to be provided a URL as soon as you sign up. So that a uh, booking site of yours can be built into the back end of the website. Now, there's a few ways that we can go into booking. You can either book by location. You can see there's multiple locations in this um, uh, demo. We can also book by the actual treatment itself. But I'm going to go ahead and use Joellen in this case to kind of take us through our journey. So I'm going to hit Joellen here. And Joellen has a few different options. Now, for her, we've got physical therapy and she does some classes, which is clinical Pilates. But I'm just going to go ahead and select um, physical therapy. Now, another option that you can have is that um, maybe you don't want initial appointments to be able to be booked by clients. We 100% understand that. And so you can actually create this as contact to book. So in that case, clients can still see where you have open availability, but they're not actually able to select that appointment. They would have to call the clinic or contact the clinic um, in order to secure that booking. Uh, and that can be helpful to just have a little bit more control. Maybe you want to ask a few an, uh, initial questions. Um, and we 100% will be able to do that. You can do that by treatment. So if we go ahead and select this Tuesday 2 o'clock appointment, it's going to say you're not done yet. And that's for a very special reason. So if I go ahead and continue, it's asking me for something. And this is where Jane Payments comes in. So there's a few ways that Jane Payments can be helpful in assisting with the clinic. But here, uh, it, this is where we can either ask the uh, patient to leave a deposit. Maybe we want them to just leave their credit card on file or we ask them to pay for the entire appointment up front. So all of those three options are gonna be available to you if you're working with Jane Payments. In this case, it's $75. I'm gonna enter in my very fake credit card <laughs> number here. Um, I always end up with 34. I don't know why, maybe because I think it's gonna be a good year, but let's go ahead and save that credit card. And I have paid my deposit and now I'm taken into the thank you for booking screen. So this is going to give me my summary of what I've just booked. I'm also going to be able to see things like my reminders. In this case, uh, the clinic has only set up SMS, but you can set up as many as you like. Um, and we have email and SMS options for reminders, automatic reminders. But for HIPAA compliance, of course, clients are going to be able to opt in or opt out of those. Then the intake form is presented straight away. But the thing with intake forms, if they're not filled out right away, we are going to kind of poke them, prompt them until that is filled out until the time of the appointment. And then something else that's really important is the cancellation policy, especially if you're going to be taking a credit card at the time of booking and possibly charging that card. If there's a late cancellation or no show, you want to make sure that's up front and center. And that's going to populate every time they uh, book something. So let's go ahead and view the account. So this is the my account area or another way to think of it is the patient portal. 
and they can see things like their upcoming appointments. And there's options here like cancellation and wait lists, but these are up to you. If you don't want them to be able to cancel online, you do not have to allow it. And also you don't have to have a wait list at all. Appointment history, they can see their intake forms, ones that have been completed as well as ones that have need to be completed. There's the document section. I'll get you to keep this kind of in the back of your head here and I'll keep you in your back pocket because I'll show you how we communicate this to clients uh, on the administrative side. And then another feature with Jane Payments is that now clients have a little bit more accessibility to see not only their credit cards that they have stored on file, but also to pay off any balances that are owed through Jane. 